Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. I have been away on holiday for two weeks in Italy which is why I'm a few shades darker than the last time you saw me and it's also why I haven't managed to upload any videos. I did plan on doing some before I left so that I could schedule the uploads but time just got away from me. So while I was in Italy I had a couple of deliveries which, which were from Influencer. So as far as I'm aware, they were the first UK Vox boxes from Influencer sent out. The first one was Max Factor and the second one I received was Rimmel. So today I am planning on talking about the Rimmel Influencer box that I received. I thought I'd do this one because I literally just picked it up from the post office. The Max Factor one came like early on in my holiday so um, I had already got someone to open it and take the photos so I thought that I would do this one on film. So I'm just going to unbox. It came in this little black box with the Influencer sign and the Rimmel London packaging. So as you open it, there's a little like information card here. So it's basically just telling you about the shades. It gives you some information about how long lasting and wearable they are, which I'll go into a wee bit more detail after this. And there was five brand new shades in the box. So these are the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colours. I think it was five brand new shades. They are available in store now to buy. They have have sent... It's like four neutrals and one really deep cut, one really random deep colour. I'll just firstly go through the shades that they have sent. The first one is Be My Baby. Mocha, which these two look pretty similar. Blink Pink, which I am wearing just now. Coral Sass. And Midnight, which is a really deep purple. It looks gorgeous. I can't wait to put this one on my lips actually. So these are five brand new shades. They are available now to buy in all your local drugstores, Superdrug, Boots, etc. And I have looked up and they do retail for around $5.99, both in Superdrug and Boots. So let's just read some info that was on the little card. It says it's high intensity lip colour with a velvety matte finish and long lasting comfort. It says bold wear matte colour that doesn't feel or look dry. Kiss proof, waterproof and touch proof and they are available in 15 shades in total. So obviously I do have on one of these shades. I have popped it on and kept it on for around an hour before filming this video, just so that I could give a, a first impression but also let you know how it's wore in the hour. We do know that liquid lip colours are problematic. They, a lot of them feel dry and gritty and horrible on your lips. For me personally it's not a problem, I do not do not mind it feeling dry or gritty. I would rather that and it lasted all day than me worrying that it's halfway up my face when I've had something to eat or a drink or I usually take a drink and then get it on my nose. I would just honestly rather that it felt dry but didn't move, that's just my opinion. So as far as I'm aware, Rimmel were pretty late to the game with a liquid lips, pretty much every brand does them now. So when I first opened them and swatched them on my hand, the thing that I noticed is that it does state to be velvety but they were really like a moussey texture. At first I actually didn't think it was going to dry down. It did. Like I don't know if you can still see the little stain on my hand. So that's from this morning and it's still not off and I have used makeup remover. But once it was on my lips it dried down pretty fast. It did feel really soft and moussey and it has dried completely down like it is completely transfer proof. It's absolutely nothing. But I do have to say it does feel dry. I know that it says that it doesn't. In my opinion it is a little drying but I don't think that you can notice too much that it looks drying. And it has been on for an hour. It hasn't moved. I can't see like any goopy lines or patches. For me it's a pretty good liquid lip colour. This is two swipes on the lips. I thought the first one was like a pretty pale, subtle colour and 
if you want that then just leave it there but I felt like I wanted to build up the colour a little more so I did go in and do a second coat. It also applied really evenly, there wasn't any patches while applying it, I didn't have to go over certain parts. Although I have only tried one, I will check back in and let you know how I got on with the rest. I'm going to pop these along my arm and show you the shades. the worst. I apologise in advance, this is the worst lip swatch you're ever going to see. This shade here is Mocha. This is Be My Baby. This is Blink Pink, which I do have on my lips. This is Coral Sass. And the last one is Midnight. So they did go on really moussey, really creamy and they have dried completely down. That is quite a thick layer that I've got on there, so it took a little bit longer to dry, but as you can see, I'm giving that a good rub, and it's not moving. So overall, my review slash first impression of these liquid lipsticks is that they are pretty good. Well, obviously I've only wore one, I've got the rest on my arm. I can't really say anything bad about this one that I've got on. It's long lasting, not goopy, the colours there, it feels a little dry and they're only £5.99. Uh, I don't think there's much bad you can say about that. So that pretty much ends this video. I would like to say thank you to Influencer and Rimmel London for sending, these, sending me these products for testing purposes. It was really exciting to be part of the first UK Influencer box box. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking if these are going to be a regular occurrence then I might just pop on camera and unbox them and do a first impression for everyone that I receive. Let me know if you guys would like that or it seems like it's pretty pointless. Thank you everyone for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Bye.